It used to be that the gold standard for strength in low stretch and sailing was this, stainless steel. Now it's this, Dyneema, a synthetic fiber which is not only stronger than steel, but much softer and much nicer to cuddle with. It's also much lighter. A hundred feet of Dyneema weighs only one pound, or about 450 grams. So it floats. This doesn't float. You can use Dyneema line like this to replace the wires that hold up your mast. You can also use it to replace these things. Metal shackles by creating these. Soft shackles. Soft shackles are simply a knot with a noose. You put the knot through the noose, it closes on itself, and voila! You've got a shackle that can replace this. I know it doesn't look like much, but this can literally lift a car. Don't believe me? Let's go outside. Here I've gone ahead and created an extra long soft shackle and I've looped it through the wheel of my car and up over the chain hook on this tractor bucket. And we're going to lift the front end of this car off the ground. Try doing that with one of these. If you want to see how I made this, watch the video linked above here. So here we have nothing but this soft shackle made out of 5mm or 3 16 Dyneema holding up the front end of this Pontiac Vibe. It's not the whole car, but I really have no way to connect the tractor to the whole car. There's no lifting hook on the top of the car. This Dyneema is uh, bar tight right now. Some people have asked how this knot and the soft shackle are going to hold up under shock loads, so let's test it out. I'm pretty happy with that. And even after having all that load on it, we take it apart by opening the noose pulling the knot out, and it's ready to use for next time. A single strand of this 5mm or 3 16 Dyneema can lift more than two tons. The strength of this soft shackle really comes down to the type of knot that you use in the end of it. We are going to need more than a one and a half ton car to really put this to the test. So I enlisted the help of this six ton hydraulic press and attached the soft shackle like this. Even with a simple overhand knot, which is the simplest kind of knot you can use in a soft shackle, we could still lift a car. It just wasn't enough weight. So hopefully this six-ton shop press will help us find the limits. The Dyneema is so strong that it doesn't break, but the overhand knot starts to slip at around one and three quarters tons, still more than enough to lift a car. Most lines break before the knot, but not Dyneema. If you need more strength, use a better knot, like a diamond knot, although those are more difficult to tie. I tried that and just wound up deforming this piece of steel in the press, but the Dyneema didn't break. On my boat, I use Dyneema lines and soft shackles for connecting the mainsail to the main sheet, as well as for the main outhaul and reef lines. I use Dyneema soft shackles for connecting the spinnaker turning blocks to the aft beam. And that's a Dyneema soft shackle for attaching the spinnaker sheets to the spinnaker clue and the jib sheets to the jib clue. I even use Dyneema shrouds for holding the mast up. You may think that one of the greatest innovations in sailing in the last decade is foiling, but in my opinion, foiling wouldn't be possible without high-tech control lines like Dyneema. Plus, everybody can benefit from Dyneema, not everybody can benefit from foiling. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.